dear students second paper of your course is about the immunology so these are my classroom notes and i'm going to share these notes so immunology is a branch of medical and biological sciences that deals with the study of the defense system known as immune system so immune system acts as defense system whenever any foreign particle or antigen such as bacteria virus enters our body our immune system defends and protects the body so it's a complex network of cells and proteins that defends the body against infection through various lines of defense then immunity it is the ability of an organism to resist the disease or effect of foreign organisms so louis pasteur is known as the father of immunization so if we define the immune system because it's acting against the infectious organisms and invaders so each exposure is or the pathogen uh, increases the efficacy of the response so there are primary lymphoid organs and secondary lymphoid organs so primary lymphoid organs are generally thymus and bone marrow and secondary lymphoid organs are lymph nodes spleen skin liver tonsils and small intestine etc so if we define the immunity and categorize it into two types first is non specific or immediate onset and second is specific or delay onset so non specific is named as the innate immunity which is natural and specific immunity it is the acquired immunity then acquired immunity is again of two kinds it may be humoral immune response where antibodies are produced or it may be cellular immune response where the activation of t cells takes place so components of immune system as immunity is already defined that its body's ability to protect itself from infectious disease so there are two basic immune system which give protection against foreign organisms or substances first is innate immune system second is adaptive immune system there is also a third immune system which is named as the passive immune system innate immune system we are all born with some level of immunity naturally in response to invasion of foreign materials so innate immunity refers to non specific defense mechanism that comes into play immediately or within the hours of an antigen's appearance in the body so innate immune response is activated by the antigen innate immunity also includes the external barriers of the body like the skin and mucous membranes like those that of line of nose throat and gastrointestinal tract which are the first line of defense in preventing diseases from entering the body adaptive immunity it is a second kind of protection or which it develops throughout our life it refers to antigen specific immune response once an antigen has been recognized the adaptive immune response produces army of specific immune cells that attack the antigens so adaptive immunity involves the lymphocytes and develops as people are exposed to diseases or immunized against diseases through vaccination adaptive immunity also includes a memory that makes future responses against a specific antigen more efficiently this gives protection from pathogens throughout the life so adaptive immunity in mammals is characterized by two types of lymphocytes t cells and b cells so adaptive immune system involves humoral and cellular mediated components humoral immunity produces the antibodies against the antigens which are present outside the infected cells or free circulating in the blood the humoral immunity is associated with the b lymphocytes and is responsible for destroying the pathogens by producing antibodies against it whereas 
Cell mediated immunity is associated with the T lymphocytes and is responsible for the destroying the pathogens or microorganisms which have invaded the cells without producing antibodies. So these release the cytokines by the process of lysis. Then another immunity which is named as the passive immunity. So passive immunity is borrowed from another source and it lasts for a short time. For example, antibodies in the mother's milk provide a baby with temporary immunity to diseases the mother has been exposed to. So this can help protect the baby against infection during the early years of childhood. So lymphocytes are T cells and B cells. The lymphatic system, uh, the receptors match only one specific antigen. So white blood cells called lymphocytes. So these originate in the bone marrow but migrate to parts of the lymphatic systems such as the lymph nodes, spleen and thymus. These are two types of lymphatic cells, T cells and B cells. B lymphocytes synthesis and secretes antibodies against foreign material or antigen. T lymphocytes produce two types of lymphocytes, T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. B cells are produced in the bone marrow. T cells are produced in the bone marrow, later on migrate to thymus and mature there. B cells play important role in humoral immunity. T cells play important role in cell mediated immunity. So these are the differences between the B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. As T cells, you can see here the chart showing the difference between T cells and B cells. So mainly uh, the functional subsets of T cells are helper cells and cytotoxic cells. And in case of B cells, these are only different in function. So they secrete, T cells secrete cytokines and B cells secretes in immunoglobulins and cytokines. So here you can see T cells, uh, it produces a CD8 and CD4 T cells and CD8 cells is cytotoxic in activity which kills the cells and CD4 cells produces many types and can help activate the immune system response. B cells produces the plasma cells which makes the antibodies. So here you can see the image like B cell that I attack invaders outside the cells, T cells, I attack the infected cells. You can see clear difference between B cells and T cells. So here is the chart or images showing the functional of the B cells. So as first one is the B cell and there are the antigens such as the bacteria. So B cell finds an antigen which matches its receptor then it waits until it is activated by a helper T cell and then the B cell divides to produce two kinds of cell. First is plasma cell and second is memory cell. Plasma cell produces the antibodies which attack the antigens or bacteria and memory cell will retain the memory or in same intruder when again invades memory cell help the immune system to activate much faster. So this is how the B cells acts and it produces the two types of cells, plasma cells and memory cells. So in the last, you should give the answers like uh, what do you mean by immunology and what is the meaning of immunity and uh, write the components of immune system and different types of immune system and give the difference between B cells and T cells. Thanks.